One of the new features that we were really excited to see in Visual Studio 2008 was this concept of multi-targeting. Multi-targeting is this concept of Visual Studio 2008 will let you target the Framework 2.0, Framework 3.0, or Framework 3.5, all from within the same IDE. So you can move to Visual Studio 2008 and still get to move uh, the benefits of using uh, .NET 2.0. I still have some clients that are on 2.0, but I'm going to be doing all my work in 2008. So I went ahead uh, earlier today and I converted Visual Studio uh, 2005 project to 2008. And that took a bit of time. Of course, I have quite a few projects in here. So you can see where that might take a, a bit to do. And the only thing that didn't convert was the web deployment project. And that's because the web deployment projects uh, haven't been released yet. Uh, according to Scott Guthrie's blog, um, that should be released within the next couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to that. But for right now, when I get to the point where I need to do a web deployment, I'm going to go over to Visual Studio 2005, which I still have installed on my computer while I'm testing out 2008. And I'm going to do the build over there. Uh, probably by the time the web deployment project's released, I'll be able to remove Visual Studio 2005 completely from my system. Once I was done, I went into the properties for each of my projects and checked, and sure enough, all of them are still set to .NET Framework 2.0. If I wanted to tar retarget this for 3.5, which is the latest, I could go in here and set it. The other thing that you'll notice is we go into one of these projects and, and say we want to go add it at reference. You'll see all my references here. And you'll see my 3.5 and 3.0 references are grayed out. So it's kind of preventing me from shooting myself in the foot. If something's going to use a 3.5 or a 3.0 DLL, uh, it won't let me until I'm actually working in a project that uses 3.0 or 